Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our next press conference. We are joined by Clarion head coach Jennifer Heron, as well as student athletes Cassidy Snyder and Abigail Selfridge. Coach, I pose the first question to you. Um, we've asked every coach so far about you know, their own unique road to the NCAA championship. If you could now share for us, too, just the, the path that your team has taken to Pittsburgh here. Yeah, just so obviously last weekend was fantastic. Um, I think that's how we wanted to culminate um, the regional. Um, but definitely some ups and downs through the season, but I think pointed towards some areas where we needed to get a little bit better as a program. And uh, the girls honestly took the reins there. And it was just, I think that's what makes me most proud is, is the adversity that we faced and having to problem solve through that. Um, and that's kind of what creates that type of growth. So um, that was in their hands and they rode with it and here we are. Coach, uh, it's been a while, but this is not your first trip to an NCAA championship. You went in 2010. Uh, none of these players were around, obviously, at that time. What have you done to mentally, physically prepare them for this level of postseason play? I think, so one of the big things that we talked about last weekend is just one point at a time and controlling the controllables. You can't control the other team. You can't control anything other than the way that we respond in those moments. And, um, you know, the weekend before, I think we had some moments where you could tell that um, maybe we were a little too focused on what was to come versus that point ahead of us. Uh, and I think that that was fixed really quickly by just the work that they put in throughout the week, um, both on and off the court. Cassidy. Um team played some of its best volleyball of the season in that regional tournament last weekend. What do you think uh, was the spark for, for some of that play in those three important matches? Definitely energy for sure. I mean, like we talked about, like, it's the end of the season. Everyone's tired. Like, it's about who's the most healthy right now and the most energetic. And our bench really brings that. We really support each other. And we bring it on the court. Abby, um, the, the culture of this program, uh, you've been here now for this is five years, yeah. right? and, and uh, the culture of this program is, you know, I don't know, has it shifted, is, is it the same, the personalities always change, but uh, what have you seen in your years of the program, how has it changed and how has it remained consistent? Yeah, I mean, five years, that's a long time, <laughs> but it's been a process, you know, building the culture that we want, a winning culture to get us here competing in the Elite Eight. Um, in two days from now, or is it tomorrow? Tomorrow already. Um, but it's just about, it's just been about building, growing and developing individuals that want to be there every day, that want to get better every day, that are willing to come in 30 minutes early to practice to get those extra serve receive reps, that want to come to extra reps between classes, that want a PR in the weight room. It's about, you know, pulling it out of those individuals and coach does a great job recruiting kids that are gonna develop into those athletes. And it's just about helping them along the way and building them and creating the environment that's going to get us to this place and going to continue to carry them in years to come. I'm going to pose this to anybody who wants to answer this one. Um, Coach, you talk about that one point ahead, next point mindset. But at the beginning of the year, we all knew where the Nationals were going to be held. So <laughs> here. And, and would you admit that maybe looking a little bit ahead as a goal, that this was a possibility that you could be hosting and playing so close to home. Yeah. I mean, I think that's why I mean, we have three that have admittedly said that one of the big reasons that they came back to play a fifth year is because that was something that they had aspired to do. Um, so to see that come to fruition, I think is pretty special. Um, and I think honestly, I think there were points in um, middle, late part of the season where I think that was maybe a focus in the back of their minds, and I think it got in the way of our production. Um, so I think that we kind of went back to basics and and just talked about the controllables, and um, we're really fortunate that, that we're here this weekend. Athletes, uh, one of the things that has been really apparent in the latter part of the season is this team has become very good at, at putting away sets and, and closing out sets in, in important moments. What do you think has sparked that? We always talk about like momentum. So like as soon as we get the momentum, we really focus on like not letting them get runs and getting momentum back. I think momentum is really, really important in volleyball. So we talk about that a lot. Yeah, and just like being <clears throat> like being able to rely on one another, one another, and being in those moments and being able to look each other in the eyes and being like, okay, we got this. We're gonna side out and we're just gonna push through, power through. And we've been really good about doing that as of late. Right, so we. <laughs> 
Yeah, we actually, it's, it's fascinating because we've, we've won a few matches, especially in that first set where we've been down. And we've won a lot of sets actually where we've been down by significant amounts this year. And, and they trust each other so much in that moment that they keep playing and they keep playing and they keep playing and, um, and they do so with intent, but they also do it aggressively, which I think surprises teams a little bit. Um, so it's just, it's really cool to watch the trust that they've built. You've had at this point a little bit of time to dig into West Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. and obviously they're the reigning national champion. Um, tell us a little bit about what makes them uh, such a dangerous team. Uh, they're good. They're consistent. Um, they've got some heavy hitters and they're physical. Um, you know, and we see a lot of that in our conference. Um, you know, we see that in the Gannon, the IUP. Um, we've, everyone that we have played for the most part in the latter half of the season has tried to put everyone and everything up against her with their most physical blockers. So they play rotations based on that. And, um, you know, this is going to be no different tomorrow. Um, and they're clean, like they're clean defensively, they're clean first contact, they're clean from the service line. So um, the biggest thing I think in this match is going to be consistency. <laughs> Welcome to Pittsburgh. Congratulations on advancing this far, and we will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.